this is a quarry at Archerfield. It's known as Carr's Quarry. This was dug out around 1913. It was used to extract bluestone for roads and for railway building purposes. And then it was flooded at the end of that same year and that was the end of that. However, I did read that it may have been used as a mine in the 1920s or the 1930s as well. Possibly to construct further roads and they were you know, digging out a lot more materials from here. Now this is located right next to Archerfield Airport, so loads of planes taking off here every few minutes. Crazy stuff. Now here's the thing. In 1943, a World War II bunker was built here. It's made out of concrete and I wanted to come and check it out. There's apparently two tunnels that uh, lead into this bunker and there are rooms within it. Now I've seen a few pictures where some people have actually gone in and entered those rooms. It looks pretty cool. And that's pretty cool too. That is not that cool. Take your jocks home with you, buddy. So I'm just walking around, just getting a appreciation of this whole quarry, this pit. Trying to have a look where the bunkers are and lo and behold, before you know it, here they are. So this is it, I'm descending down. You're seeing it right there in front of you. Now there's a little bit of a problem here. My plan to go in is a little bit inhibited by all the water. I'm standing right now on one of the entrances. Right under my feet is a tunnel that leads into this bunker. Now there are what's called curtain walls. I'm walking on one of them right here now. And I'm coming to the second entrance, which is sort of where that mound is. Where these rubber tires are. Anyone want a rubber tire? Right here there is another entry, another tunnel that leads into this bunker. Yeah, and this is as good as it's going to get baby. That's it mate. It's all filled with water and I didn't bring my snorkeling gear. So in lieu of uh, no scuba gear, no, no diving masks, I checked out a little bit more of the quarry and there's evidence of sort of you know, little structures, little concrete slabs here where there would have been some forms of uh, water pumps. A little bit up ahead you can see there's another shelter, there's another pump up there. You see this quarry has actually been pumped out a couple of times. When it's pumped out, that's when you can come and check out the bunker. Yeah, so check out this old rusted pump. She rusted baby. She ain't going to do no more pumping. That's it, mate. I decided to work my way a little bit further down the bank whilst listening to the wonderful sounds of planes, big metal birds just flying over me, constantly sounding like flies or mosquitoes. And we're working our way through all these weeds. Wonderful, wonderful weeds. And it was pretty cool to sort of see this little inlet around the corner here. So I decided to check that out a little bit more closely. As long as I don't slip in. Yeah, and just up there, a little bit up ahead, they kind of made a bit of a rocky feature. I think this is for when there's a little bit extra water uh, around the place, a lot of rain, it'll just flow on into the quarry here. Actually, it's a nice little feature. Just checking it out from right here, I'm like, yeah, mate, let's do it. Let's uh, let's hop up this thing. Kind of felt a little bit hidden away, you know, another world. Now, check this out. You see that right there? That is bits and pieces of World War II military equipment just dumped in here after the war. Now you know, in 1992 they did a big empty of this pit here and they found a whole ton of equipment from the war and uh, it's funny that I actually still found some here today. So I'm just showing you some images from the website Oz at War and this is what they found in 1992 when they emptied out this pit from the water. They found things like mortars, guns, bits and pieces of planes, 
Yeah, all sorts of crazy stuff. Look, I'll leave a link in the description to Oz at War. You can read up more about it for yourself. Look at this old girl. I hear that this one's going really cheap at the next car auction. Looking for a bunker entry and I just cannot see it. Now what I'm doing here, you heard me say I'm looking for another entry. I actually read that there may have been another small secret entry into this bunker. Can't find it anywhere. But I had no luck finding it. That's because there is no other secret entry into this bunker. Just a little entry hole into a bunker. I thought it may have been up here somewhere, so I'm trying to find it. Scoping out everywhere where there's snakes and spiders. I see little cherry tomatoes. Yeah, and the best thing I found was, <laughs> you guessed it, cherry tomatoes. That's about it. Yeah, so anyway, car's quarry. Uh, I gave it a crack. I had a good look around uh, upon the different faces around the bank and no banana. Yeah, okay, look, there's no other secret entry into this bunker. The bunker is simply that concrete structure that you're looking straight ahead there up on the edge of the water. That's called the northern side. You can see two entries there, one on each end. The problem is the whole pit, the old quarry, is fully submerged with water. So there ain't no getting in there today, buggy. Not until we've had a drought and all that water is dried out. Otherwise, otherwise, yeah, it's submerged. So anyway, that's life. Hope you enjoyed this uh, little exploration with me in the bushes with all my snake buggies. It was great, mate. But yeah, cars, quarry, the World War II bunker. Uh, it's a no-go until someone pumps out all this water. Then it'll be a go-go. Yeah, let's come back after there. there's been a big drought here. <laughs> There's like so much plane traffic here, it's crazy mate.